Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty-free YouTuber that does some makeup content. And today I'm going to do a first impression of a new palette. And I'm going to, I think, maybe talk a bit about other things than only first impression. We will see. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. But the palette I'm doing first impression of is the Berlin 89 from Lethal. This is one of their pre-made palettes that don't have... You can't take these shades out. They have some pre-made palettes where you can take the shadows out and some that you can't. And now I think I need to sneeze. So this is their... This must be their newest. No, they did a multi-chrome palette. But this is the second, the next second newest, one of the newest. And this actually has a multi-chrome in it. This one, no, <laughs> this one, Breakthrough. I don't think I can catch it on camera. But yeah, so this is a 12 pan palette and I want to do a look. And of course I want to try this multi-chrome so I think I will do something red and orange so I think I will use Berlin maybe block or Sputnik 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 in Swedish in German I have no idea breakthrough and east and west to deepen things down but I think I just should prime my eyes and then we get started and if you're wondering about my eyebrows, I did tint them the tinted them this morning. I don't know if I feel they are a little bit dark or I'm just not used to it. So I will start with Berlin in my inner crease and then I think I will take I think I will take block on the rest of my crease. So I will start with Berlin. And as you know, I love Lethal. I have a lot of their shadows and I really think they are doing amazing shadows. And I love that they are vegan, cruelty free and that they are a European indie brand. For me that lives in Sweden, um, most of the indie brands I like are from the US and the shipping and customs and everything from the US it's kind of expensive but with lethal because they are in Europe and part of EU I don't have to pay any customs and it goes rather fast to get it from Germany to Sweden so yeah it feels like I'm losing my touch with this inner crease thing, but something like that. And this always looks a little bit strange in the beginning. When you only have a shade in here. But I do like this orange, it feels a little bit toned down. And I do really like it. So for um, the rest of my crease, I will go in with the block this one. And I have, yeah, this is Berlin 89 and if you didn't know that Berlin wall was torn down in 89. Uh, not the whole wall but like, yeah, it's ended in 89. And I have actually, I have been to Berlin and I have seen the Berlin Wall. I don't know where I wanted to go with that. But yeah, I have seen the remains of the wall. In like the center of Berlin. And I'm not going to talk about that anymore. <laughs> with the wall and everything because this is a makeup channel and... Uh, not the historian channel. But other ha happy things that happened 89 is that I was born. I was born in March 89. 
think the wall came down in November, if I'm not mistaken. Now I'm talking about the wall again. So back to <laughs> eyeshadow. This was maybe a little bit more pink that I than I would want to. And as for normal, if I just would have swatched this, I would have known. But you know me. And swatching is not a thing that I often do. And at some time I don't want to like destroy the shadow by swatching it. Even though I'm not taking any pictures of it. It's just that, okay, I don't want to touch it because it looks perfect. But I don't mind to put my brush in it, but to put my finger in it. I don't know. But I do think that this works. So on my outer part of my lid, I will go in with Sputnik. And this breakthrough, it is... Am I ever going to be able to show this? It is like it now. Green multi-chrome. Maybe I can show it in the mirror. Yeah, can you see it there? In like the mirror, it's green. So hopefully it will work. So <laughs> don't take Sputnik. Yeah, this seems kind of dark. So we'll take it out here. And maybe this is not going to be a perfect match with the block one. But yeah. I think also that I want to take this in my crease to deepen it down. I should will do that. So I take a Sputnik on a dense, like, kind of like a pencil brush. And just tone down the pinkish in block a little bit. So far I think these shadows work exactly like Lethal's other shadows. So the formula is still great and I am not surprised. And I am kinda interested and looking forward to using the multi multi-chrome, the multi-chrome. I have not used many multi-chromes in my makeup days. If you want to have like... Or <laughs> if you want to see videos with multi-chromes, I can really recommend Millie Bed to the Brow. I can leave her down in the description. She does a lot of videos about multi-chromes and she really catches how amazing they look. I am just like a normal makeup lover using multi-chromes, so we will see. Maybe I took this a little bit too far. So okay, time to go in to break through this one. And I will not take any glitter primer or anything. I will try how it looks with only a brush against my eyeshadow. Damn! Oh damn, this was much darker than I thought. I guess it's having a black base. But it was so freaking pigmented. Okay, I'm going to take this over on Sputnik. And I really love how it, I don't know if you can see the multi-chrome, I guess not. I love how like the shape of my eyelid makes it look green here. I do really love this shade. I didn't buy the multi-chrome palette because it was really expensive and uh, yeah I haven't used it many multi-chromes so I don't know how 
I like them, so I didn't want to spend much money, but I actually did buy one of them when I bought this palette. But I will use that in another video. And I just love how different it looks on my both eyes because the light is hitting differently on both eyes. I think this looks so, so cool. And I feel that I want to go in with the black one that is East and West. Yes, because the breakthrough was a little bit darker than I thought it was going to be. So I think I want to deepen down my outer corners just so it looks a little bit better. And we'll see how black this is. And I love to use this brush from Sigma when I'm doing like deep and down my outer corner. The only thing is, as you can see, this brush is black. <laughs> so it's really hard to see like with a black shadow how much you have on the brush, but yeah, okay. this was really, really dark, really, really black. But I think this looks really, really good. I? I am so happy with the lids. I don't know if I needed to take like the orange, but I want it to be a little bit... Okay, I just wanted to try the orange. But I do really like this look. I have some fallouts. But so far, I do really like these eyes. And okay, I am going to fix my base. And do we have a scratch on my neck? On my throat? So okay, <laughs> I am going to fix my base, my brows everything, put on a lipstick, and then I come back and I'm going to tell you what I feel, but so far I do love this lids and I do really like this multi-chrome. I just wish that I wouldn't feel anything special for it, but apparently I do, so I'll fix the rest of my makeup and then come back. For my waterline, <laughs> I almost said lid, I took a Vivid Bright from NYX in Snatched and on my lips I took a new one from Lethal that I bought together with this palette and it is Rapture, a really dark red. I do love it and yeah, I love this look. I love the multichrome, which I don't like because maybe I want more multichromes. I don't know where. I did put, because I bought a light one, a multichrome, from Lethal as well. I don't know where I've put my empty palette. I don't know. It's here somewhere and it's going to come a video with it. But I do really love this multi-chrome, 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 multi-chrome. I do really, really love it and I think that this is same formula as lethal is always so I am really happy with this palette and I'm loving this look I don't I think it would have been enough to just take the multi-chrome all over my lid but I wanted to some more colors but yeah this is finished look I do really love it and I hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one bye